But before you really start getting into using the Outlook add-in, you want to make sure you check what options you've got set up first for how those emails will be handled and will certain records be tracked automatically or records be created automatically. So you want to know what's actually going on first. So if you log into D365 and then over at the top right, you've got a little gear icon. If you click on that, then you're going to go to options. So from the options, you're going to click on the email tab and you've got a, a couple of things. So first of all, you've got select the email messages to track in Microsoft Dynamics 365. All email messages is probably never a good idea unless you work in um, support and you only ever get emails from clients. Um, it's still probably not a good idea for anyone. That means any single email that's going in or out is going to be tracked. Um, so you could end up with a lot of junk in there, especially if you are sending things internally or um, personal emails, that kind of thing. So you want to be very careful that you don't have that set up. Um, next, you've got email messages in response to Dynamics 365 email. So if you send something out from D365, those emails responding to that, those would be tracked. Um, email messages from Dynamics 365 leads, contacts and accounts, or email messages from any record that has email enabled. So things like um, a point, uh, sorry, things like opportunities or cases, that kind of thing. Um, Really, the probably the most logical one is either this one or this one. OK, the other option to look at is automatically create records in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Um, so what you what this is allowing you to do is if you click track on an email and that person does not already exist in D365, do you want to automatically have a contact created or do you want to automatically have a lead created from that email? So you can pick one or the other, or most times I would suggest have create turned off so that you don't have these um, records being created um, behind the scenes without you specifically saying you want to create this new record. OK, so that will do that automatically for you. Um, or just keep it turned off and, and don't have them created and actually make an effort yourself to be determining which contacts should actually go into D365. OK, so certainly check out the personal settings uh, op options. First of all, go to the email tab, um, determine which email should be tracked. And also if you want to have records, either a contact or lead automatically created.